early access to AFK Journey. Now, the nice thing is it's also going to be available on PC, and you can sign up right now with a link down below if you want to pre-register, uh, but this looks really solid, okay? I haven't played a lot of these AFK-type games before, uh, but this is my first one that I've really dove into, and I've been playing it on my phone. Now I'm trying it on PC, and uh, I want to show you a few things about this game and why you might be interested yourself. This is a sponsored video, but all I want to do today is talk about the features, talk about some of the characters that are in the game, and some things that might excite you. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. Let's get into it. So AFK Journey has this world where you're going to find different enemies along the way, as well as quests and chests and bosses to fight. There's also special creatures that you can link up with other players to take on and get rewards. And there's these Miasma Guards that you're going to have to level up to take on to unlock other parts of the map. Now, this is an AFK game, so I'm constantly generating gold and resources, and I need to claim this. But there's going to be multiple stages you can fight through. I'm not quite strong enough to take this on. If I try to do this fight, I'm going to lose. I just, I can't beat these guys because they're too high level. However, um, as I claim this, it's going to give me a bunch of rewards, all right? I can collect these, and I can start leveling up my different units. And one of the nice things about this is even though I have a pretty, you know, solid size of units, I only have to level up five of them. My top five characters, whatever level they are, will bring up the level of the other ones. So I can level up him to 46, 46, 46, 46, you get the idea. And all these other units are now going to be level 46. So as long as you focus on kind of your main roster, everyone else will be brought up. So if I happen to need a different healer or a different tank, they're still going to be ready to fight for the most part. But right now, I need to bring my army up, so I'm going to be ascending these guys and taking them all the way to 50. And then I can start making some big progress here. Now that all my characters are level 50, I can take on this guard, I'm going to stomp it, and then I can actually open up a different part of the map. Um, so it's going to be incremental progression as you go. Uh, you can see here, I, I kind of auto-battle, but I don't have to auto-battle. Um, I can use my ultimates where I want to. I want to shield up this guy so he doesn't die, or I want to attack this enemy and make sure that they're killed. I can make choices myself, and against some of the harder fights, you're going to want to do that, or else you're going to lose. Uh, if you don't focus on a healer or, or one of their high damage dealers, you're going to die. And so you can autoplay it if you're strong enough, but you don't have to. And against some of the harder stuff, you probably don't want to uh, if you really want to push the hardest content possible. It'll also break down what units are doing the most damage and healing and things like that. So you can see if someone's underperforming. But also, even just moving the units around can make a big difference on if you win or lose. So now that I beat that, I've opened up this whole other area, and it's a, a big juicy area here, okay? Another part of the map is available for me to play in. But here's the best thing. My characters are so strong that in this new area, the game knows you're going to stomp this enemy. Auto kill. Some people like that, some people don't like that, but they understand that maybe you're really good at the game, you've leveled up your characters... You can beat this, so why waste your time with it? I think it's pretty unique. That being said, that's usually only for a few trash mobs in the early game. Once you get into the main story and into some of the other areas, you can't just auto-clear it. It gets quite a bit harder. There's a lot of different units in the game. This Salvanus character, she will dive into the back line and attack this mage. Uh, this guy's a tank. This is a healer. Uh, this is kind of a swordsman. And then this chick summons in like a big golem. And so there's a lot of different ways you can do your team comps and there might be situations where you don't want a healer and you just want a bunch of archers and uh, and take out their front line really quickly and there's multiple different puzzles or combinations that will work there's also faction bonuses and weaknesses so the graveborn are really good against humans so if you saw the enemy had a bunch of humans i might want to drop some of these units and throw in a bunch of my graveborn units to get those bonuses uh, and things like that on top of that, if you use a lot of the same faction, you'll also get additional bonuses for your attack and HP and things like that. Now, there's also these Dream Realm bosses. These are different bosses, and there's quite a few of them, and they all have different mechanics. So there's a Yeti guy, and it freezes you. There's this kind of big dragon that shoots these lasers and kind of a Cyclops, and this one... He insta-kills a few of your units, and so you kind of place your units that are okay to die at the beginning, uh, and then your most valuable, highest damage unit you want to put in the back. Um, but this is great rewards, and you can also compete against other people uh, to get the highest score. You can see I'm melting through this thing pretty good, but um, he's going to kill one of my units soon. He's just going to hit this guy, 
insta kill. There's no defending it. I can't save him. And so you start losing units as the fight goes on, and that's one of the mechanics you have to deal with. Fortunately, I'm not strong enough to beat this boss yet, but as you hit different milestones, I actually almost hit another one here, you're gonna get a bunch of rewards. So you can see, boom, boom, boom. Uh, this is one of the first times I've fought this boss, so I have a bunch of experience that I got, and as I level up and get stronger, uh, I'll get more and more rewards from it. And then if I end up killing it, you get this kind of big chest. It gives you like an epic unit. Uh, and then on top of that, it will upgrade the difficulty, get more rewards. And you can kind of keep pushing this from common to, to kind of hard and then an epic boss. So um, it's something that can progress. Uh, and then there's, there's all this currency that you get to actually buy characters. Now, that's actually really cool because some of the epic units, when you get dupes of them, you can start ascending them into the higher tiers. And once they hit mythic, you can actually unlock their specialty gear. And in the case of this guy, it instantly kills units. I use them on my other account. And once they get to a certain percent of uh, HP, it just kills them. And so healers are less effective against this guy because he chunks them down. And before they can heal him up, it just quickly bursts them. And this unit is like a SS tier character, in my opinion. Really good against bosses. And it's essentially a free unit that you can get just from playing, which is really cool. A lot of units on my roster that look like they're these legendary units, but these are epics that I've ascended. I've already ascended a bunch of these up. Um, this uh, Lucius guy is a really solid tank. He provides shields to my team, and a lot of the stuff you'll be using is stuff you can earn for free. So that's a win for me. There's also arena battles, so you can go in here and you can fight against the defenses of other teams. I can look at who's going to get attacked here, uh, you know, who I might need to protect. They're all level 50, so this might be a little dicey, uh, but if I bring in a good team to counter them, I can win. Or, <laughs> I could be a little cheeser, and I could go and level up my team and come back and stomp them. Now, as you level characters, there's also these breakpoints that when you level them up, you also unlock additional skills or bonuses. Um, this guy gets more energy, and, and when he defeats a poison enemy, he gets more energy back, and he can kind of just spam his ultimate over and over again. And so, some units will get much stronger later in the game, and others are strong earlier. Now, as you start winning and going through the ranks, you can get some diamonds that is a one-time reward, but your weekly rewards of these arena coins goes up. And this is super important because, guess what? You can get free characters. And these are some of the best units in the game. You can get Brutus, who just goes immortal when he almost dies, which can allow you to tank. Uh, this is a cool healer that gives you energy. This guy summons these gravestones and jumps around and is super annoying. And I think that uh, Sishia is probably one of the best units from what I played. I've got like level 160 characters, uh, and I still use her, and she is an absolute god tier unit. Between the guild, the arena, and the dream store, you can get a large roster of characters, but there is a gotcha system in the game. Uh, you can do pulls in here, hopefully get lucky, and okay, that actually works really nice for the video. Uh, I'm at pity, okay? So I'm at pity. This pull will be an epic character. Let's see who we get. Maybe someone juicy. Come on, I'll show you the pull. Uh, this is just good timing. Honestly, it's really good timing. I don't know who I want. Brutus would be good. Smokey would be good. Brutus is cracked. I'm now going to be able to stomp the, the early game. Uh, so this guy is essentially immortal at the beginning of the fight. I can go in against, like, really hard enemies, and he'll just tank it. I'll, I'll show you right now. So if I go into this fight, and everyone is targeting him, he'll just run in, and he might die, right? Really quickly. But then, he gets his shield for five seconds, Right? And it allows me to attack the unit and maybe even heal him a little bit. And then now, right, I, I've started to get some of my ultimates off and it might be enough to turn the tide. And so he's very good in the early game. Brutus is crazy. Uh, and even in the later game, because uh, some units are, are kind of glass cannons and hopefully I can kill them first. I'm not quite strong enough, but you can see that he was able to buy me some time there. I'm just going to have to level a little bit more before I can take this out. So overall, I just feel like they've got a lot of systems that are pretty casual friendly, honestly. Um, you don't have to grind for gear to get the perfect piece. It's just something that you'll accumulate over time. And I like that. I don't want to have to look for the perfect substat on everything all the time. I just want to keep progressing and pushing forward. But the game's really just about leveling up and trying to push through the content as best you can. I've leveled up a few more times. I'm going to go back to that hard mission and see if we can finally beat it. Looking pretty good. It's five on one. It's four on one. Come on. Take them out. Easy peasy.
But the goal here is to start pushing through, get as far as we can so that I'm generating more and more resources per hour. So if I go to bed, I come back, I've got more uh, experience and essence to upgrade my characters. Now, I grinded for a bit to unlock the Arcane Labyrinth. This is another game mode that I just got, and it's a roguelike game mode. So you go in, you choose your units, and it will actually normalize them all to the level of the labyrinth that you're doing. Um, so the first few are pretty easy overall. You can see everyone is normalized to level 31. I can just throw in, you know, kind of my best units overall and uh, call it a day. Once I go in there, I will do some different fights and uh, you're going to get bonuses along the way, different passives to your attack, your HP. Uh, you might stun the enemy when you first hit them or whatever it might be. Uh, but your units, when they die, they need to be resurrected. So you want to try to get through the fights with all your units alive. There's also the clan battle drills, which I couldn't show you today, but there's also the legend trial, and that is just going to be uh, a tower that you battle through, but you have to use particular factions, so all graveborn or all human characters uh, to progress. All in all, game is pretty cool, and I'm going to be playing it at launch, and I'm going to be making a few different guides. I've played enough that I think I can make some tier lists and things like that in case you want to play, uh, but it's something that you can jump in, enjoy a little bit here and there, and because it's an AFK game, you don't have to commit a whole bunch of time to it. If you want to pre-register, there is a link down below, and thanks for watching, and thank you so much for sponsoring the channel.